Hey there, this is Sheree from Sheree'sCraftGirls.com. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator and my project today is this cute little box with a belly band. My original one was this one with a belly band but I didn't like the way it gaped there and so I reconstructed it and came up with this one which I think is much, much nicer. So, today I'm going to use a piece of DSP paper coming from our beautiful Playful Palette um, designer series paper stag and this is a, in our new catalogue that goes live on the 1st of June. If you would like me to send you a catalogue out please visit my website and leave your contact details in the contact forum and a little message saying you'd like me to send you a catalogue and it would be winging its way to you. Okay, so taking a piece of 6x6 six six inch designer series paper and your scoring tool you're going to score at 1 inch and 5 inch then you're going to turn it round and you're going to score at one inch, two and a half inches, three and a half inches, and five. Okay, there we go. Popping that aside. We're then just going to fold and burnish our score lines. Very dressy paper, isn't it? There we go. And on the sides. And one on the other side. There we go. Right. Now, with these, you have a small section, a larger section, and a little section. And then you have one, two, three, four, five sections. And it's this section that you're actually going to cut down. So you're going to cut along this score line and notch. The same in the centre box. Cut the two score lines and notch. And again on the last one. Cut along the score line and notch. Turning it round and doing exactly the same on the opposite side. Score line and notch. Score line, notch. Score line, notch. I never know whether it's better to say cut and notch or whether just to stay quiet. I'm not sure which you would prefer. Perhaps you'd leave me a comment and say shut up or yes that's fine, carry on. Okay. And then taking your snail or your fast fuse sticky tape or Tombow, you are just going to do it on the little squares. Ignore the rectangles, just do your squares. And before I carry on, I must say I forgot to put the thumb notch in. So before we actually seal the box up, I'm going to take a th three quarter inch punch, decide which is going to be at the front of your box and I'm just going to go central as I can but halfway up the circle punch and take that out for your thumb. Okay so now we're going to construct the box. Now as this is the lid you only want to put one flap inside your um, rectangle. So we'll build the lid first, pop that on there and that one on there. So these, these two must go into that one to form the base of the box. So again construct the base, very similar, align your sides, both sides. There we go. And there's your pretty little box. 
all ready made isn't that now you could just leave it like that and decorate it you don't have to put a belly band on it because that's that's perfectly fine for some lotion or some lip balms or some sweeties and it's a perfectly box that perfectly formed box that, that stays shut on its own but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into my vellum and i'm going to take sheet out and I'm going to cut the 6 by 6 into a 3 inch strip. So taking your trimmer, just cut a 3 inch strip, keeping that for your decorations and your embellishments. You are then going to take your box and just hold it about halfway across the base and Gently go around creasing our box all the way over and again and again. Okay, and then you can just run your bone folder over the creases that you've made. Making sure your sides are aligned, that way you'll know that it should should sit flush. Okay. There we are, last one. Nice and square. And then I just take a little piece of a sticky strip and put it across just one of the bottoms. And cut that off. Oh. Moving the backing and pop the box belly band back on with the sticky strip to steal it shut. There, I've put it on upside down. Silly me. Should we turn it round and pop it back on just to prove that it will go back on? Oh. oh goodness, I do struggle, don't I? There we are. Now it's on the right way. Okay, so there's your belly band. And to decorate it, like this one, or you can just put three little embellishments on. You can put the flowers, butterflies, whichever you choose. Or you can put the tag. For speed, I'm just going to put your three little um, flowers. So I'm going to take, with this one, I used the same contrasting cardstock and then the vellum. But I'm going to do this, which is just the vellum. So taking your punch, I'm going to use petite petals and I'm going to cut out six little flowers three, four, five and six and taking my piercing mat popping my flowers on there and we're then going to take some blue dots and pop in the centre and alternate the petals. Okay. Oh gosh, I grabbed quickly didn't it? And this one in the centre. Taking your poker tool and pop right down in the centre. And that way it just gives it some definition. And I think we're going to use some rhinestones. I'm just popping those in. Oh gosh, it's got two. They're so eager to get away in the centre of your flower. And this one popping back. Come on. 
in the centre so we have a little bit of bling on our flowers and with some more glue dots just going to pop those on the corner of your belly band as I say you can put a sentiment on there as I did with this one you can have three little butterflies with contrasting cardstock I'll just leave it like that. Isn't that sweet? I think they're lovely. Good size. Much better than that one. Till next time. Take care. Bye.